Hi. สวัสดีค่ะ I'm Oz. I would like to read the short story. Which one? This one, not which one. Sorry. This one I just found it, and I remember I learned this one in college, in in reading class. No, no, I'm sorry. It's not reading class. In the English for a degree, the the one that every international student must pass is before continue your major. And I need to read, and then I don't remember what the teacher asks us to do. I I remember that I need to make. The cover. Okay. Anyway, I apologize. I want. I would like to tell you about my story that I do with. I did. I did right. That I did with this article, but <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, I don't have any program about to to use like I saw on YouTube. Many YouTubers they have like a tiny square. Can see the face, my face, our face, and then you can show the whatever you want to do beside. But I don't have it. Then I open three things together and then put them on top of each other. Okay, so you see like that. I wanted to to show my face too when I read. Okay, I will read it. And first thing, I will guess what's what's. Is going to be on the story by the title. Even I already read this one, but a year ago, so I don't remember. <laughs> okay, the story of an hour. Then I guess this gonna be something about the time for sure. And from the picture here, illustration, it look like this woman. She she was thinking about the past. I guess. Let's see. By Kate Chopin. Chopin. This story was first published in eighteen ninety four, as the dream of an hour before being republished under this title, in eighteen ninety five. We encourage students and teachers to use our The stories of an hour study guide and feminist liter literature study guide. Okay, knowing that Miss M R S Miss supposed to be Mrs. Right, Mrs. or Miss? <laughs> I never remember. M S is mean doesn't know if you married or not married, right? M I S S Mrs. Okay, M I S S Mrs. Because it's opposite to my language. If married, the pronouns of the word gonna be only one syllable, but in English, if you marry, the pronoun gonna be two syllable Mrs. Okay, but in Thai, if we single, the syllable gonna be two, but in English syllable. For people, for the lady, for girl, woman, single, gonna be one syllable, right? Miss, right? <laughs> so it was supposed to be Miss it, okay? Knowing that Mrs. Marlard was afflicted with a heart trouble, great care was taken to break to her as gentle, gently as possible the news of her husband's death. Oh, it was her sister Josephine who told her. In broken sentences, view hints that reveal in half concealing. Her husband's friend Richards was there too, near her. It was he would have been in the newspaper office when intelligence of the railroad's disaster was received, with Bradley Miro's name leading the list of killed. Oh. He had only taken the time to assure himself is, uh, himself of its truth by the counterargument, and had hastened, hastened, 
I'm not sure this was supposed to pronounce it because some like uh, wicked it some some word I know that pronounce that but normally need to pronounce the or the right so this one has tend I suppose to be has tend I guess okay let me start and had has tend to forest told any less careful less tender friend in bearing the sad message oh okay then her husband died <laughs> and that the news from the newspaper she did not hear the story as many women have heard the same with a paralyzed inability to accept its significance she wept at once with sudden wild abandonment in her sister's arms when the storm of grief has spent itself she went away to her room alone she would have no one follow her okay so just stop here first i guess now it's about sad story and maybe because she knows her, her husband knew that he is, he is dead and she she is in the feeling of sorrow and sad because now she's gonna be by herself. Okay. That stood facing the open window, a comfortable roomy armchair in this she sank pressed down by physical exhaustions that haunted her body and seemed to reach into her soul. She could see in the open square before her house the top of tree that were all a quiver. Okay, I'm so sorry I need to change this window because I can't see it. <laughs> okay. Where is it? And then, okay, cover, cover my bed, my messy bed. Uh, let me start reading this one. She did not hear the story as many women have heard the same with a paralyzed inability to accept its significance. She wept at once with threatened, wild abandonment in her sister's arms. When the storm of grief had spin itself, she went away to her room alone. She would have no one follow her. There stood, facing the open window, a comfortable, roomy armchair. Into this she sank, pressed down by a physical exhaustion that haunted her body and seemed to reach into her soul. It's sad. <laughs> She could see in the open square before her house the top of trees that were all acquired with the new spring life. The lilacian breath, breath of rain was in the air. Okay, stop here. I never ever remember the word breath and breath. I know the different spelling that they have one E at the end, but I don't remember which one is breath or which one is breath. Same as here. Maybe this one is breath, right? <laughs> I will check after that. Okay. In the street below, a pedro was crying his words. The notes of a distant song which someone was singing reached her fancy, fairly and countless sparrows were twirling in the eaves. There were patches of blue sky showing here and there through the clouds that had met and piled one above the other in the west facing her window. She sat with her head drawn back upon the cushions of the chair. Quiet, motionless, except when a soft came up into her throat and shook her. As a child who has cried so to sleep continues to sob in its dreams. Oh my gosh, 
I gotta cry. <laughs> she was young with a fair, calm face whose lines bespoke late prescience and even a certain strength. But now there was a dull stare in her eyes, whose gaze was fixed away of yonder on one of those patches of bruised grind. It was not a glance of reflection, but rather indicated a suspicion of intelligence though. There was something coming to her and she was waiting for it. Fearfully, what was it? She did not know it was too subtle and elusive to name, but she felt it creeping out of the sky, reaching toward her through the sounds, the scents, the color that filled the air. <laughs> I'm trying to, to read and give my emotion in the story, okay? <laughs> Some of you may, may not like it, I know, but this is the way I practicing. <laughs> okay, turn it new. Now her bosom rose and felt tumultuously, tumultuously, tumultuously. She was beginning to recognize this thing that was approaching to possess her, and she was stirring to beat it back with her will, as powerless as her two white slender hands would have been. I'm so sorry because <laughs> I try to, to understand the story and the word that I denote, the meaning. When she abandoned herself, a little whisper word escaped her slightly parted lips. She said it over and over under the breath. Free, free, free. The vacant stare and the look of terror that had followed it went from her eyes. They stayed keen and bright. Her presses beat fast, and the cursing blood warmed and relaxed every inch of her body. She did not stop to ask if it were or were not a monstrous joy that healed her. A clear and exalted perception enabled her to dismiss the suggestions as trivial. She knew that she would weep again when she saw the kind, tender hands frothed in death. That uh, the face that had never looked safe with love upon her, fixed and gray and dead. But she saw beyond that bitter moment a long procession of years to come that would belong to her absolutely. And she opened and spread her arms out to them in welcome. I think I, I remember what I did in class. <laughs> Okay, I will tell you at the end. There would be no one to live for during those coming years. She would live for herself. There would be no wonderful view bending hers in that blind position bed, which men and women believe they have a right to impose, not impose, impose a private view upon a fellow creature. A kind intentions are a cruel intention made the act seem no less a crime as she looked upon in it that brief moment of illumination. And yet she had had, oh sorry, and yet she had loved him sometimes. Often she had not. What did it matter what could love? The answer of mystery, mystery. How far in the face with these processions of self assertions where she suddenly recognized and the strongest impress of her being. Free body and soul free, she kept whispering. Josephine was kneeling before the cross door with her lips to the keyhole, imploring for admissions. Louis opened the door. I beg, open the door. You will make yourself ill. What are you doing, Louis? For heaven's sakes, open the door. Go away. 
I'm not making you sound. Oh, go away! I'm not making myself ill. No, she was drinking in a very. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, she was drinking in a very excel of life through that open window. Her fancy was running right out along those days ahead of her, spring days and summer days, and all sorts of days that would be her own. She breathed, she breathed, <laughs> a quick prayer that life might be long. It's not only yesterday she had thought with a shudder that life might be long. The story is sad, but my reading was suck. <laughs> I apologize with that. Anyway, it's almost done. She arose at length. That opened the door. No, not at end. She arose at length and opened the door to her sister. Importunities. There was a few village triumph in her eyes. Fever rich, I say. There was a fever rich triumph in her eyes, and she carried herself unwillingly like a good death of victory. She grasped her sister's waist, and together they descended the stairs. Richard stood awaiting for them at the bottom. I didn't know the word "descended" meaning, but I guess from the word "the stair," I guess it means walk down the stair. Someone was opening the front door with a latch key. It was Bradley Maulas who entered. A little travel stained, composite, compositely, right? Compositely, okay. Compositely, carrying his grip sack, and umbrella. He had been far from the scenes of the accident and did not even know there had been one. He stood amazed at Josephine's piercing cry. Ah, uh, he stood amazed at Josephine's piercing, piercing cry. Why I keep reading piercing? Piercing, piercing. Okay. At Richard, quick motion to screen him from the view of his wife. When the doctors came, they said she had died of heart disease of the joy that kills. Okay, that is the end. And I remember in my class, the teacher asked every student, but not. But we don't we don't get same story. We get different story, and this the story I got. The teacher asked us to read and analyze it, analyze it, like what's happening in the story, what what I understood and what I thought, and pick the sentence that we. We never known and guessing what that means in the story is quite fun because my guessing was not quite right, but it's good because I I use my brain <laughs> because I try to understand the story and guessing what should be like. I guess at the end the story. The lady, the woman, what is her name? Mrs. Millard. She. She was very very sad. After her husband died, and she didn't feel like she want to. To live, anymore. So, she feel sorry, 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 sad until her heart weak, and then. Die. That's what I guess. But something, something, something hiding behind the story. I I don't remember what the teacher told me. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening, and I will do the video like this again because I thought it is. Good for for many of you if you come by and listening to me, and you are the one who are who are in the same boat like me. We just learn English as a second language. It's not our language. 
and I try to understand and share with you guys and what do you think you can leave the comment okay thank you bye สวัสดีค่ะจุ๊บจุ๊บ